Today, it's a little bit of a different video. We are traveling to Red Oak, Iowa to do a remote solar install. We don't only do solar installs here, but we also travel in our vintage 1982 bus and load it up with all the gear and do it where you're at. Hoping to do that maybe in the winter when it gets colder out here. Uh, so if you wanna see how that one goes, stick around and follow along. Working on a uh, Riverstone Legacy here and uh, can't complain about the working conditions in a covered shop. We've got uh, existing uh, three panels, about 190 each, and we're adding six more at 200. We're gonna run down the uh, gray tank vent, coming straight down through here. We remove the belly pan cover there and it looks like actually we can feed the wire straight up through there. And then we'll pop out here. We're gonna run those up through here, over, and install everything onto a board here. Uh, as far as the components go. Then for the batteries, we're doing four Battleborns here in uh, two trays. And I believe the customers are gonna fabricate those. Uh, we're on a farm they're pretty good at that so we uh, play to our strengths we're gonna let them do that then the other four batteries are gonna go in this slide out tray and I just test fit one here real quick just to make sure two would fit and it looks like they will so two two get our four batteries there uh, those will all come to come out here somewhere with our uh, shutoffs and then feeding into our uh, situation over there. So that is kind of what we're thinking. Here we're laying out the components on a three quarter inch plywood board covered in auto marine fabric for a nice look. We try and run as much wire and cables through a racetrack system. However, in this case, larger cables we need to run outside. As our day comes to a close, Coco and I are proud of the work we've done thus far, with a clear plan for the days ahead. So here we are working on the uh, 2021 Riverstone Legacy. We've got, uh, we added six 200 watt panels on the roof in two strings, parallel. There's an existing three panels, I think about 190 watts each for a whole lot of solar up top. Uh, let's look at some batteries here. We've got four Battleborns there for 400 amp hours, but they didn't stop there. We've got another four here for another 400 amp hours, bringing the total up to 800. And then in here, we've got a whole lot of goodness. We've got our two shutoffs to both battery banks. We've got two multi pluses in split phase and an auto transformer on the other side. We'll go over there and take a look at what's over there. There's also the solar shutoff and we've got two Lynx distributors, Lynx shunt and Lynx power in. That's gonna look so good when we get the covers on. Let's go jump over to the other side. Coco's been keeping an eye on things here. So here is the auto transformer. We're doing that for load balancing. And the multi pluses working. You can see there is a lot of wire here. We tried to make it as clean as we could. We've got uh, one charger, another charger, and the servo. The other uh, factory charger is located somewhere else, so I just included that with the main DC system. And then we've got the Orion uh, smart charger for the trailer, or for the alternator charging as well. That was a last minute addition, so it's a little upside down. This was all installed onto a board, well, everything but the multi pluses, and then we installed that in here and then added those in later. Uh, let's go take a look inside. So here is 
the touchscreen for MultiPlus. And right now, we're actually testing something pretty interesting. Or, sorry, this is a touchscreen for the Servo. You know, all the Victron stuff. Um, oops, let's go back here. So you'll probably notice there we've got line one in and line two none, but we've got line one and line two generating AC there. So how's that happening? Well, let's dig in a little bit more. So that's the out and there are different voltages in part because we're only getting line one in from shore. So uh, what we did was on the, in the configuration, for the VE bus, we unchecked switches group. So if we're running a, uh, let's go look at the cable here. So the customer here put together this special cable. It's a uh, 50 amp female to 30 amp male with a uh, 115 adapter. And this does something different than most of these dog bones will do is it does not bridge the uh, the two hots so it only lets one line in which is normally what you don't want except when you're running multiple inverters and you're keeping split phase in your coach so then you need to pretty much make one of these and that's what they did here and it's working out great so we mounted all these right in a line pretty much end to end and we were able to get them well two nice things about this one uh, you don't see any wires. There's no wires. And uh, two, it ends right here at the gray tank vent. Oh, looks like we might need to add some more turn to bond on there. That's coming up. But we went straight down the vent and I'll show you where that came out. That ended up being super slick. And here's the factory solar that they put in. We couldn't really use that same entry port because that is uh, up in the nose and there's just no way to get it down there. This, super simple. Highly recommend that anyone else looking at doing solar on a rig like this. Some people might wonder how long does it take to do something like this? Uh, we started Monday, it's now around lunchtime on Wednesday and we are just wrapping up. So between Coco and I, two and a half days in real time. They were pretty long days, almost 12s or sometimes longer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. She knows I'm talking about her. So uh, let's talk about a couple of things on how we did things. So let's talk about the uh, AC connections. So this uses a smart uh, load shedding system so it actually monitors power in power out and uh, and which legs are active so what we did was we disconnected the power cord and then ran that into the uh, auto transformer I believe uh, yes so, so the auto transformer is feeding this directly and then we took the normal power cord and one leg of that goes to one multiplus, the other leg goes to the other multiplus, and they share the neutrals. And of course the grounds are connected and it all tucks in there nice and neat. And then we've got the uh, other DC stuff running here. Again, to our battery cables, our battery bank here. Uh, got the 400 amp fuse right there. Then tucked back behind here, we ended up adding a, a little mini bus bar to make our new coach DC connection. We ended up using two watt cable for that, just to uh, just to give it plenty of juice, so there wouldn't be any problems there. And uh, yeah, and then the seven pin is in there too for the trailer charging or the sorry the tow vehicle charging. And then the uh, let's talk about the wiring back here. So. Oh, yeah, right here, you can see, right in here, this is the vent pipe that was up on the roof that we talked about earlier. So you can get access to it right there. We actually didn't know that at first, so we accessed it a little bit lower down, but it works just fine there too. 
Um, what you can see here is this is the HDMI USB extension we used for the Touch 50, and it pretty much uh, comes down, there's a chase in the wall that comes right down right here in this cabinet. So it just pretty much comes straight down here, super easy to access. Ran those up across the top along with the solar charging PV cables, PV out, into the charger, down the raceway. And then uh, we've got raceway to install down here and all that stuff to make this look nice and neat. And I think that is our next item on the list. But we are super proud of this one so far. We are about to test the solar, total solar output. Hoping that works out good too. So let's get these blue covers on and then we'll do the final beauty shot. All right, here's what the compartment looks like all buttoned up. A lot of blue stuff in there. It appears to be all working correctly. We had a great time doing this install on location. If you need solar installed or just consulting on your build, we can help design a system for you. Learn more at sodasolar.com.